Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day whenever and wherever you happen to be, because I am excited. I'm excited to be back because things are going very well for us. Number one, we just got the Douglas C-49 Skytrain, which is very cool. Number two, we have some vehicles that are suffering a little bit. We'll deal with that in just a second. But number three, the machines factory is doing amazing. It has 1,300 planks in storage, which is a lot. It doesn't really have much in the way of steel, which we're going to want to fix, but it has leveled up, which I think is really cool. So what I've decided to do and the way I got this to level up was basically to start shipping some machines over to Dynam Market because Dynam Market wants machines. And we're already providing food here, so we might as well provide both and see if we can get this place to grow really nicely. The other reason I want Dynam Market to grow really nicely is because there was a thing I was supposed to do to Dynam Market that we never did. So I want to go ahead and do that. I want to go ahead and I want to say we have a bus station there. I'm going to say we have a bus station out there. I'm going to say we have a bus station up here and we'll say up there way over that way and I'm thinking we'll go down to about there as well. We're going to have buses looping around Dynam Market doing their thing, all that good stuff and I'm thinking I also want to get a bus station that is a proper bus station that is right here in the middle and the reason I want to do that, well, you're going to find out in just a just a second is, uh, is what you're going to find out. So let's rotate this a little bit. I want it to connect to that intersection. It's going to be kind of expensive to do this because we are going to have to take out some buildings. But uh, I think I think it's going to be worth doing this. So right there. Oh, 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 that's interesting. If I hold shift and rotate the mouse, it rotates. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Uh, but right there. So boom. We have our bus station right in the center of Dynam Market. I can also configure this, which is pretty cool. I could do street access on the back too. If, uh, if I was really want to do such a thing, which again, kind of cool. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. I'm going to extend that just a little bit because I can, I can also do cargo here if I really want to, which is also really cool, but we're not going to be doing that. Let's get ourselves a new line. Let's go ahead and get ourselves number one, number two, and then into the station and then number three and then up that way for number four or that's number five. What did I get? How did I count that wrong? I, can, I, I just lost. Wow. Okay. Apparently, basic maths is not my strong suit right now, but that's fine. Let's get this set up as the Dynam Markets loop right there. And then what I want to do with this as well is I want to bring buses from that central station along this road, which is upgraded. This is a country road, but I want it to go all the way to Bedlington. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to put another bus station into uh, into Bedlington here because I think that'd be a pretty good idea. So right about there, we're going to give ourselves a nice bus station in Bedlington. I think these two roads could probably be connected together. So just do something like that, which is a bit weird looking, but whatever. And uh, we actually don't have buses going around Bedlington yet. So that's going to be something we want to do as well which we can absolutely do. Let me just connect a bunch of these guys together so we actually have some loops going on here. And then let's go to buildings and let's say uh, bus tram stop. We want uh, we want one. We're going to want two. And then we're probably going to want three. Then to the station, which can service the train station as well. Then that'll be four. And uh, I guess another one right there should be totally fine. So let's go to new line. Let's say from there to here, out that way, uh, down this way, over that way, up to there, and uh, that should be totally fine by the looks of it. So let's go and say B, and this is going to be the Bedlington loop right there. So there we go, oh, Bedlington, oh, not his Ling, Bedlington, okay, so that's fine. So we can get both of those set up pretty easy. It's, it's not going to be too hard to do that. And then I guess all we do is we go, we say new line. And we're going to say we want to go from here in Dynam Market all the way up 
to Badlington. So there we go. And that is going to be uh, B. And that is going to be Dynam slash B E D L I N G ton. There we go. So the Dynam Badlington uh, Express, essentially. So let's go ahead and start getting some vehicles onto all of those new lines. We do have the money to do it. So passenger, we're still going with the B46. We're going to do uh, five of them on each. So the Badlington Loop is going to be... Uh, I want to change the color of these a little bit. I want the Badlington Loop to be blue. So we're going to assign those to that. And then we're going to click that line. We can't change it from here. That's fine. Uh, so let's go back to this. Let's go to here. We're going to get uh, five of those guys right there. And they're going to go in the Dynam Loop. And I want those to be green because they can be. So, Dynam Market Loop right there. Then we're going to buy a few more. We're going to buy five more of them. And we're going to say that those are going to be... Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me say yellow. We'll say bright yellow for those. And those can go on the Dynam Bedlington uh, back and forth there. So, let's go into Line Manager. Let me tidy those up a little bit. Because I do want to do that. So, Bedlington. Uh, the vehicles on that. I think I made them blue, didn't I? So, blue. And then the Dynam Market Loop was green. And then this was yellow. So, there we go. We should hopefully see a decent little number of people start moving around both Dynam Market and Badlington. Especially from Dynam to Badlington, because I imagine they're going to be quite keen to get the train. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. And that's kind of what I'm hoping. So, we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully very well. Also, did I do this road here? Whatever, whatever this road, did I do that? It doesn't look like a road I would have made, does it? It might be. I honestly don't know. Either way, I mean, we're seeing good production here. I do want to figure this steel thing out, though. So, steel production is, is not great. This thing here has leveled up at one point, but... I feel like it needs more iron and it needs more coal. And what I've noticed is there's a good amount of both. Like there's a lot of coal up here. So I'm wondering if it's maybe worth going and saying that's, uh, let's see, road vehicle what is exhausted. So you're exhausted. Ratford planks. Let's have a little look at Ratford planks. You're using the Ben's truck with side stakes. Okay. So Ratford planks could use an upgrade. We could go for this one, or we could go for that one, which can carry more. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we just go for the one that can carry more. Because it seems like it would make sense. So 1.4 million, we'll do that. Make them that color, and that should improve that a little bit. Let's also just have a look at our vehicles in general. Because we have some 37-year-old vehicles here. We have the Benz Tarpaulin one on the Food Penzance line, so... Let's get those changed out for this guy, I guess. Which seems like a good shot. 2.1 million to do that. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get that done. Go to vehicle manager again. We have 34. So grain to Warminster. Those lines need a bit of love is, uh, is what they need. Those two grain lines. We haven't actually done that yet. I did mention we were going to do that. So let's go to line manager. Or vehicle manager, I guess. And we want to have a look at the... So the Penzance lines actually did get upgraded. I did do that. The Opal Blitz dump trucks. The Grain to Warminster lines did not. So let's go and have a little look here. Because we can go with these dump trucks. They can move grain. It is 12 million to replace those 50 vehicles. That is so much money. But it really might be worth it. It really might be worth it. Because I would imagine they can load faster. Because what are we using right now? We're using the Benz trucks? Yeah. So the Benz trucks have two times loading speed. They can carry eight units. Seven units. Versus 14 units on the these dump trucks. So, and three times loading speed. So really, this seems like it would be a good idea. It really does. Also, I don't I don't know what either of this is. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, it's a boat, obviously, but I have I have no idea. Um, right, let's do this. 12.2 million? Sure. There we go. We'll spend all that, which means they should hopefully stop complaining. I do want to get these colored properly, though. So bright blue, 
and then bright pink just so they look the part and what are you complaining about so you are ratford planks one so configure vehicles ratford planks one can we afford to replace you guys I would imagine we can. 1.4 million? Yeah, we can afford to do that. Let's do that. Let's get you guys in that color, which I think is the right one. Road vehicle one requires my... Uh, road vehicle one is fine. All right. So hopefully that's most of our vehicles now sorted. They should all be moving a good bit faster, which is exactly what we want. I'm just curious to see how long it's going to be before we start making really good money. And I'd also love to see, I really would love to see a lot of people. Yeah, there we go. We've already got 10 people wanting to go to Bedlington there. That's perfect. And then up here, we've got a few people wanting to go to Dynam. Good. That's what I want to see. I think our next step, honestly, is going to have to be getting another train onto the Penzance line. And then another train onto the South Molten line. Because the South Molten line, that train is filling every time it comes down there. And it's usually dropping off a, a full train's worth of people. Budley Salterton, interestingly, also filling up the Penzance train. Also filling up the South Molten train. So yeah, we're we're gonna need we're gonna need some new trains, is is what we're gonna need. Which is very exciting, to be honest. Now let's have a little look here. Why are you not upgrading? Production's not quite where it should be. And shipping could be better. Now, shipping being better on a fuel demand could be quite easy. Because Winchester wants fuel, but on top of that, South Molten wants fuel. Now, that's kind of tempting. Also, Ratford. Ratford wants construction materials. We could totally do that. We could totally do that. Have you leveled up? You have. Okay, I have an idea. We can get this thing to level up again. So, let me come over here. And we're going to spend a little bit of money here to go to streets. Give me a medium country road. And let me start doing some, uh, let me start doing some upgrading here. So medium country roads, just the entire way from that quarry, going down this way. And uh, apparently construction is not possible on that. That's interesting. Why is that? Why, why is it not possible? Is it, it was just being a bit weird. Okay. Oh, it's not possible there. Well, that's fine. I'm not going to stress too much about that. Let's do the medium country road along the rest of it. So there we go. That should be fine. And then what was what's done here? It's just another quarry. I might want to get that set up at some point. Same with that one over there. I feel like getting all the quarries. Like I've said, getting all the quarries going into steel production might not be a bad idea. Uh, but what I want to do for the time being is go to buildings. I want to get a truck station. I want a single platform because that's really all we need i'm just going to rotate this nice and uh nice and easy get myself something kind of simple something a bit like uh i don't know something a bit like this they have a nasty kind of turn on it there but i'm sure that's gonna be all right i guess so yeah we want that truck station then i want a truck unload stop and I want to fire it just over here is what I'm thinking. Unless I want to do... I mean, I could do another platform on this. I don't think it will be needed, but I guess why not? Cargo, platform. We'll just extend it a little bit. Make it kind of nice. And uh, let's set up a bricks line. Or a... Yeah, it's it's technically, technically going to be a bricks line. So new line from there going to there have at least 300 passengers waiting at a train station the ugly smell of success nice nice i'm sure it smells great that's perfect uh so let's set this up this is going to be cargo this is going to be stone to uh bricks number one i guess well technically number two actually but if i'm not mistaken yeah this one here is harwich bricks specifically so that's fine uh, but that should improve the production of bricks for Harwich, which is exactly what we want to do. But I'm also thinking it might not be a bad idea to try and ship them over to Retford to get the shipping up a little bit there. So I'm kind of tempted to give that a shot. And then at some point, I do want to get goods moving as well. But I think let's just be a little bit cheeky here. 
And let's say that Central Ratford needs construction materials, so let's put a let's put a little truck unload stop right there. And that should be all right. We can we can make that work. And let's get ourselves a I guess a line to take bricks to Ratford. So this actually needs expanded again. Which is totally fine. I love doing this. I really do. I love expanding the uh, cargo terminals. It's just there's something about it I really enjoy. And yeah, this is... I, I'm aware, before anyone says it, I'm aware that it would maybe be better to use trains for this kind of distance. I know my trucks aren't super fast yet, but I'm kind of okay with that. We'll, we'll deal with trucks until we start getting a little bit more money. Just a little bit. So anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to say... Uh, load up on bricks, and then at Kingsway, you want to unload the bricks or the construction material, and that should be fine. And this is going to be a cargo line. This is going to be bricks to uh, Ratford is what it's going to be. So that should be fine. Bricks to Ratford, and then stone to there. I think that is our only construction materials plant as well, which is a problem because uh, we have soil hill up there wants construction materials and i believe we also have fowey wants construction materials so we're gonna need a lot of construction materials which is gonna be great because i think we only have the two quarries as well so yeah we're gonna be they're they're in demand is what they are definitely definitely in demand now let's see here let me buy some vehicles let me go to cargo and we want to be moving stone is what we want to be moving. So we can move 14 units of it. Get me 15 of these vehicles. 3.8 million. That's a lot. Uh, but what we can do with them is put them on that bricks to Ratford line, which is a lovely color. Absolutely lovely color. Uh, I'm actually very tempted to say that I might start color coordinating. Wait, bricks to Ratford. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted, actually. I wanted stone to bricks is what I wanted there. So you guys are going to be moving to cargo. Stone to bricks is where you're supposed to be because we don't have the bricks. We don't have enough bricks yet. So get you in that color. And then away they go. So they'll start moving stone and uh, getting those turned into bricks. This uh, should hopefully start producing. I guess the demand is technically not there yet Is is kind of the way we can look at it. Uh, there is, you know, not that much demand for it. But we can probably... Uh, we can probably fix that. I guess, yeah, these guys are getting enough. So let me go here and buy some vehicles. And we want to start moving bricks. So, ooh, Douglas DC4. All right, we really need to start getting planes, man. We really do. So let me see. You can hold 10 of those. You can hold 12 of everything. I guess just use you guys. And we'll say five. So five of these can go on that bricks line that I was talking about, which I think was that color. And it was, yeah, bricks to Ratford. So that should improve the shipping here. And it is. It is improving the shipping, which is beautiful. So that improves the shipping. We'll hopefully see that upgrade a little bit. And that should get this guy producing a little bit more. What vehicles complain in here? Food to Warminster. I guess you guys are older vehicles right so let's replace you with uh some of those i guess and make you nice and orange there we go so yeah these guys they're they're gonna they're gonna be waiting about a little bit but that's okay we can uh i'm actually very tempted to say that i might have them wait for a a full i might have them wait for a full uh, stack there at Ratford West. We might as well. There's no other vehicles going to be coming down here. So wait until you have a full load of, uh, of stone there. And then we'll see how that goes. Done this way. It is leveling up, which is beautiful. It's exactly what I want to be seeing. We are going to be producing a good amount. Oh, that's got me very happy. That's genuinely got me really, really happy that, uh, that this is going to level up again. I'm kind of excited to see it happen. I'm kind of really excited to see it happen. That's kind of cool. That is that is really cool. And these vehicles are fast, man. They're really fast. That is uh, 
Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. What vehicle's complaining here? Food to Winchester. I guess that makes sense. So configure vehicles. There's 15 of them. Let's get you guys replaced with... Uh, so how old are these vehicles? I imagine quite considerably old. 3.1 million. Sure. And go to that color. There we go. So they'll hopefully stop complaining as well. And let me see how close... You're, you're pretty close to leveling up. Oh, that's... I'm liking this, man. We're getting everything leveling up. That's really cool. And then you're coming in with another delivery, which will hopefully lead to some profits. Remember when I said we needed more trains? That's going really well, isn't it? That's going super well right now. So that's another delivery to here. Oh, this is good. This is really good. I do want to see what this looks like when it levels up, though. Oh, okay. So it looks like that, apparently. And it's actually pretty close to another level up, which is which is brilliant. So really not complaining. Production seems to be pretty quick. Bricks to Retford as well seems to be... I don't know where those vehicles are, honestly. I think they may have just gotten to Retford. So yeah, they're not... Oh, they are making money. Not bad. Some of them don't have anything to deliver, but that's fine. How are we looking down here? Oh, this is... Well, this is a bit rough, isn't it? This isn't really... Uh, this isn't really producing as much as I'd like. I'm going to be honest. It's uh, it's really not. It's it's really not. Uh, South Molten Construction Materials Plant. What? There is another one? Oh, there is. Okay. So... Oh, I wonder if... Okay. So I wonder if we were to use this construction materials plant for Harwich and Retford, we could probably use this one... And then set... Yeah, because there's a train line here already. We can use this one, fire a cargo platform onto these train lines, fire a central cargo train station, like, up here, because there's already a train line, and then we just use trucks to take the construction materials to Soil Hill and Fowey. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, how are we looking here? Wow, that's a lot of people. All right, we need those other trains, don't we? All right. That line just got super busy. That's that's ridiculous. Down here, relatively busy as well. Let's get some. Let's get new trains. I think that that seems like a like an idea. So, what are we looking at? We're looking at locomotives. We it's 1945. We're still dealing with with uh, with steam here. Do we have any fast passenger wagons? 100 kilometers is what we're looking at. Okay. So. I keep, I do keep using the Russian class Y because the passenger wagons can't do over a hundred anyway. So the class Y seems like the way to go for it. And then these guys can carry one more passenger each. So if I was to do this, I mean, it's 8.4 million, a capacity of 80. Uh, the other train on this molten line has a capacity of 60. So, I think just for the sake of, of symmetry, I guess, we'll just go for the capacity of 60. So, we'll do that. We're going to assign it to that molten line, but we're going to make it that color first, and then fire it on there. And then the frequency of that line should have uh, should have dipped pretty considerably. Seven minutes, that's not bad. All right. What vehicle's complaining now? Oh, it's a bus. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense that they'd be complaining. We've been neglecting those for a while. Uh, so passenger, this guy, 1.4 million, sure, why not? Make them bright green. And yeah, they can do their thing. So the molten lines, I mean, that's good. That's that's a good thing. We've got, you know, two trains on that now to, uh, to go back and forth. So that'll hopefully clear out a little bit. We've got... Yeah, these guys, the Penzance line is still super busy. Gonna need to get another train on that for sure. That's probably going to take a minute, but that's all right. We'll not uh, we'll not stress too much about uh, about that taking its time. Although I do notice that we probably need to get a way for the trains to go across to the Penzance line. So you come out of here, you go onto that side, and then I guess it just goes. Well, I guess we could just do this a little differently. Hold on. Uh, Tracks, stand or high-speed tracks, I guess. We'll come off of here. 
And we'll kind of mirror it alongside the regular track for a second. And then bring it over this way a little bit. And where does this need to connect? Because the Penzance line is this one, I think. So I need this to go... Yeah, this is going to be slightly tricky, isn't it? All right, so we'll bring it this way. It doesn't need to be super fast to do this. It just needs to go there. So that should be fine. That should let us get another vehicle from here for the Penzance line and uh, not stress too much about it. So, speaking of which, there it is right there. Not bad. Not a bad looking train. Only doing 85 though. Is it? I think it'll get up to 100. It'll it'll get there. There we go. It's it's climbing. So that's not too bad. How are we looking for money then? No, that's not the bottom one. Bristol. Ooh, we're getting more planes. We're getting so many planes, man. I really, I really do want planes. I really do. I just, I feel like the maps may be not big enough. Because I've done planes in the first Transport Fever, and they never really worked for me. I feel like one of the one to three scale maps would be better, because that way the map is like, you know, this wide, but three times as long or something like that. I feel like that's what we need. Which I I I regret not going for, but we're just getting started, you know? I didn't wanna I didn't wanna like I didn't wanna overdo it or anything like that, so I don't know. Let's have a look at our balance anyway. So we're getting 1.4 million on that. Uh 1.3 on that. Harwich breaks 1.2 million. That's not bad. We're losing out in the loops. In fact, all of the loops are pretty much where we're losing money at this point. Food to Winchester is losing a little bit as well, but generally speaking. We're doing all right. Uh, can I duplicate this train? Is that is that an option? Set line, send a depot, reverse, finances, etc., etc. Um, I don't know if I can. I don't I don't know if I can. It'd be nice if I could. It would be really nice. Configure vehicles. You clone selected vehicle. Boom. So that's what we wanted to do. Which now sets two vehicles on that line. I don't know where it is. I actually have no idea where the other one will be. Is it... Is it down there? You know, I, I genuinely don't know. Where would the... Uh, where would the second vehicle on this line be? So that's not it. That... Where? Hold on. You know, I can just find... Is that... So that's train two. Right. To so train two, train six. Oh, train six is back here. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, why is it there? And how is it going to get on the correct line is now my question. So it's going to follow all the way up here. It's going to go all the way up here. Can it merge across once it gets to the station? I genuinely don't know. I am genuinely not sure how this is going to play out. I guess I could be a little cheeky and just do like, I don't know, this kind of thing where it can sort of merge like that. I guess we'll find out is is what we're going to do because I have no idea how that train is. That's not even the train I was looking. Where is it? I am missing a train is, is what I'm doing here. I Hold on. Train six is here. Why is it there, though? It shouldn't be. Like, why is it stopping there? It's, it's kind of more the question. I have I, I have no idea. I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. It can merge up here somewhere, I think, is where I put those weird bits of track in. So hopefully it figures it out. I mean, there, that's it there. So let's, let's keep a little eye on it. You're on the wrong line, mate. But I really do. I hope you figure it out. You've got up here to do it. So you're going to cut across. There you go. And back across again. There you go. All right. Oh, we just got new trucks. Again. They can go 60 kilometers per hour. All right. Let's have a look at the... The Zis 150s. And see what they're all about. So, buy vehicles. Uh, cargo. So, 15. Not bad. Uh, the dump trucks. So the flatbeds can hold everything with a capacity of 13, which would be a single step up from the tarpaulin trucks that we're using. 
Doesn't seem like it would be worth it though. The dump trucks similarly are just a step up by one and the tank trucks are a step up by one. I don't, I mean the lifespan's greater and the speed is the same. So I, I don't think it's needed. I don't, I don't think we need those to be honest. I think we're, we're probably fine without them. I just, I just don't think we need them. Anyway, what I do think we need to do is take another little look at our line management here. So this line is suddenly pulling a considerable amount. That's great. Uh, the Penzance, Budley, Bedlington, other one line is losing a lot of money. 1.2 million right now. It's a lot of money as well. But I think, oh my God, when did we just start getting 10 million in earnings? Where did that come from? Reach 400 production. Oh my God, what? Hold up. What is this thing doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. So the bricks to Retford is going pretty well. And this needs more shipping. All right. Let's get more bricks going to Retford then. Uh, so we're going to use, we could use the new vehicle, I guess. It can carry a little bit more. Might as well. Uh, let's send five of those out onto that line. That's going to be bricks to Retford. And then, where is it? Bricks to Ratford. Let's, let's, can we change that line color? I want to make it orange. I think orange would be a better color for a bricks line. So there we go. Bricks to Ratford. can be bright orange. And that should improve the shipping here, right? I think. I would imagine anyway. I'm not actually sure. I would imagine it would improve shipping, right? We're technically shipping more out of here. That seems like what it means. Either way, it's that's fine. I'm not not too stressed about it. And also, if my if my phone would stop, <laughs> I keep so I keep recording videos at you know good old whatever what time it's six twenty a.m. right now. Um, and I did this. I don't think the last episode we did this, but just to remind everybody, uh, I think it was the episode before the last one. I let you in on what my current uh, notification sound is, which is which is that just again I don't know I don't know where the sound where does the sound come out of this phone I genuinely have no idea I talked about getting this phone a while ago but that's there you go you can sort of hear it that that just just to remind you I need to set this thing on silent when I start recording because I usually don't have my phone on anything but silent but apparently I've decided against that recently anyway uh that aside I think we're doing all right. We got the new trucks going out. I imagine Ratford's very happy with itself. I would hope so anyway. Yeah, getting a decent number of bricks. Is this, this is still tailing back. So honestly, I'm thinking what we should do here is get more shipping going. So let's configure this. Let me go to cargo. Let me, why can't I do this? So it has a collision. That's not good. So I actually can't expand that at all. All right. I guess we get another one then, which is not exactly what I want to be doing, but that's all right. So we'll do, we'll do this. So they're like kind of right next to each other. And then we'll get just a regular little, little street going like this or something. That's a medium country road. Uh, medium street, please, because I think they line up a little better. Let's do something like that. That's fine. You know, it just looks terrible. Uh, it really it really doesn't look great, does it? It really doesn't look great. Um, is that stop number one on the stone to bricks? It is, yeah. Okay, that's fine. This works off of there, so that's all right. Let's go ahead and I really should set up a train for this. But I'm going to do I'm going to do trucks over to here just for the time being uh because I can. So let's get ourselves we're going to get a regular truck station, I suppose. We'll rotate this around and we'll fire it there. I think that'll be a good spot. We're going to do two platforms. Because one of them is going to be a delivery. One of them is going to be an export. And we'll just do it like that. So if we need to expand it, we can. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new line that goes from here, from Retford Exchange, over to there. And that is going to be another uh, cargo line. That is going to be stone to bricks uh, two. Which, yeah, so it's a good long line. It is a really long line. But then the idea is that these bricks are going to get loaded onto a train here. Which I guess we could go ahead and start setting up if we really wanted to. So let's configure this. Um, I don't really know how we're going to configure this, but we'll figure it out. So tracks, high speed tracks. Then go on this side. Really not 100% sure how this is going to work. I guess I'll double it up. Because that's a thing that we uh, we probably should do anyway. I'm going to double up that side as well. Just because I can. And uh, then we'll go to platforms. We'll say passenger platforms on this side. So technically we're going to have the option for three passenger platforms. Because these two tracks and then this one track. And then this one over here is going to be cargo. Which is going to be a bit strange. I've, I've never... I've never done this before. In all the testing that I did for this game, I never bothered to do like a joint platform. So this this really is kind of weird to me. I'm feeling like we are probably going to need a small main building for the cargo stuff. Um, which interestingly can fit right there, which is actually kind of cool. To uh to be totally truthful, that is that is really cool that we can just sort of fire it right there. Um, I don't think a medium building is going to fit, unfortunately. Which is fair enough. But yeah, let's do a small little cargo building there. That's that's really cool. I like that. I actually like that a lot. And uh, I guess we can do another set of tracks here. So if we really wanted to, we can have two different like cargo trains come in here. I don't really want to do that. But if we wanted to, we totally could. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous. We are going to want passenger underpasses so that they can uh, get to both sides here. Should they happen to want to do that. So there we go. Uh, side entrances. Don't really care. Platform roof. Going to go for that because it's just polite. And uh, actually, this is really similar to a train station I've been to before. I can't remember where it was, but like... I'd always be on like this platform here, then two tracks over, you'd have a cargo section for it. So this is, this, is, this does happen. I've seen this happen. It's just, it's just weird. I've, I've never done this before and I'm kind of excited to do it. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. I guess what we are gonna need is a truck unload stop right there. So that can load over to the, the cargo. We have this set up. So then we're going to do a line that goes from South Molten East to here, I guess. And I don't know what we're going to call it. I guess cargo um, bricks to, I don't know, bricks to train, I guess, is what that'll be. And then we need to figure out where the train's going to go. So the trains are going to have to go through passenger stations, which is probably not exactly ideal but that's just the way it's going to be i think and i'm thinking as well that we are probably going to come up to soil hill here or well maybe not i think i think maybe it would be better if we were to go to like a dedicated like train train cargo hub somewhere and i'm thinking in here is probably good very very close to soil hill but not like right in there so buildings uh cargo terminus station uh we can do two tracks i guess and uh we're just gonna put it like i i i, I want it in here essentially um it's gonna have to go up here is what it's gonna have to do so it is gonna be very very close to soil hill we're really not gonna need many trucks for it unless i go elsewhere with it which is an option but uh, I don't know about that. I guess, you know what? We could bring it into Budley Salterton and filter it out from there. Let's do that. Let's let's do it that way. So bring it into Budley Salterton. We're not going to have to worry too much about it. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is tracks. Some high speed tracks right there. And uh, just the whole way through here. 
Then we'll fire a cargo platform. So this gives us another passenger track if we really need it. Uh, but also gives us a, a cargo track. Which is, again, kind of cool. And I really like it. So this, this kind of makes me happy. I can also do a medium main building for, uh, for cargo here, which is nice. Got that going for us. It means that... Uh, I like that these are decorative as well. I really do. Large main building for cargo. That's pretty cool. I really like this. I really do. Um, I, I genuinely, genuinely really do. Let me do some medium side buildings here for passengers too. I mean, it's cool looking, isn't it? And then large side buildings, I guess, for uh, for passengers as well. That's cool looking. It's. I mean, the cargo buildings don't really match, annoyingly. So let me take those out real quick. And can I do like a medium or a large building there? Yeah. So we'll do something like that. And then cargo, large main building. Sure. I guess we'll do a large cargo building and a large cargo building. So there we go. That looks interesting is, uh, is what that looks. Uh, let's get ourselves the platforms, cargo platform, and just fire it over on this side. And uh, I guess we're going to hope that it'll actually work. I really, I really hope this works. It'll be really cool if it did. It really, it'd be really, really cool if it did. Uh, let me see. We want to get some roads here as well. Because I'm realizing a lot of these guys don't have much access. Um, it would be nice if I could get them to snap to uh, to the road exactly the way I wanted it. But this will do as, a, as an acceptable substitute, I guess. Construction not possible. Is it because it's because they're too close together, isn't it? It's because there's a bus station there. That's why. I'm an idiot. Um. Can I bring you straight up there? No. Can I bring you straight up here? Not really. That's fine. All right. We'll go from here. We'll go straight across. Something like uh. Something like that seems pretty good. Then we'll go up like this. So that's a connection. It's a bit silly looking, but it'll do the job. Then from here, we'll go, I guess, something like uh, something like that. And that can connect, I don't know, something like this. And then in there, maybe, no. Well, that's fine. So we have the connections. It's no big deal. It looks terrible, but it's just, it's cool. It's our, it's our main central station. I can't complain. I really like it, okay? I really like it. I just don't know how I'm going to connect everything. So let's... Where's... Where am I looking here? I'm over here. I'm over... I'm over here. This is where I'm supposed to be. Uh, so... We're going to want to use... We are going to want to use one of these... These tracks. I'm not really sure which one. I'll be honest. I guess this one. So let me go to here. Let me go to tracks, high speed. And I don't think we want to bring it there. I think we want this one to probably run sort of parallel, don't we? Maybe. So like from there to there should be a thing. Oh, I really don't know here. I don't know how we're going to do this because I do want it to run on the same lines. That's the thing. I really do want it to run on the same line. So, honestly, it's slightly tempting to just sort of do that. Which is probably not a great idea. I'll tell you what, let's just do this for now. We'll just sort of line it up. And then we'll have it cut across. So, something like that. Um, so, it can get over to there. But we need the trains to come back in as well. So this train on this side, okay. You know what? That needs to go. Because what I actually need to do is change that up a little bit. So let me figure this out. The trains are going to come in like this, right? So they'll be coming in on the right side and they filter across. Now when they're going back, we need this guy to be able to do that. Okay, that should probably work. Uh, the trains going out are going to want to stop there because that one needs to filter across. The trains coming in might need to stop there for a second. 
then this guy is also probably going to need to uh, to stop at some point as well. So that'll let the train kind of back and forth into the cargo area. And then it's going to run on that same line on the right side, which is perfect. That's where we want it to be. And then it's going to run. So let me see here. Runs on the right side. We want it to stay on the right side. But we want it to cross back over here. So, oh my God. So we want to do this. So it can merge, I guess. This is, uh, this is slightly more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But I think I've got this. I think I know what I'm doing. So we do this kind of thing. So it can merge from the right over there and back over to the the southbound lanes. This passenger line isn't going to be used much. This one here, though, is because that's our cargo platform. So this merges and we should be good. I think. I I think. That's a very big I think, but it's it's and I think. Uh you are maybe gonna want to stop there occasionally. And then the bricks need to be transported elsewhere at some point or another. So essentially, that's the theory. That's that's the line that we're maybe looking for. So let's set this up. It is gonna be from that cargo platform in South Molten to that cargo platform in Budley Salterton. And the trains are sharing the lines, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want them to share the lines. They cut across there. That's fine. So this is cargo train, I guess. And it's bricks to uh, Budley. And that's not even the final delivery, so that's kind of nuts. But that's that's the plan, right? So we go bricks to Budley Salterton. And then we want to pick them up from Budley Salterton. And I'm thinking we could get a little terminal in here for it. So buildings, truck station, uh, one on each side there. Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, we can totally do this. So swing that around a little bit. Uh, that's not the button I wanted. Uh, swing that around a little bit. We'll fire it pretty much in, in there. That seems like a good spot. And then we just need drop-off points. So let's go over here, truck stop, and uh, drop off. Right in the middle there. And uh, right about... Uh, that seems kind of decent, honestly. Or here. That gives us decent coverage, too. So uh, I'm thinking right about there. So... This way, what we do is we set up a line that is bricks from lower Budley or whatever that was to uh, soil hill, right? So that is just cargo. Bricks to soil hill. Then the other one is bricks to Fowey. And we'll see if this works out. So this is another cargo line, bricks to Fowey. There we go. That entire line is going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy. It's going to be huge. Um, I don't think we need a road vehicle station in South Molten still, to be totally honest. But let's get some vehicles here. So, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. This is, uh, is going to be pretty involved. So, let's do the flatbed, which is going to be, we'll say three We'll say three of them. And we're going to set that on the bricks to train line. Which is that one, right? So that's bricks to train. We also need stone to South Molten, right? That was another one. We had the stone line to stone to bricks to. Yeah. So stone to bricks to needs a good amount of vehicles so let's put 20 on that i'm thinking that that seems like the way to go we can do 20 of these guys that's it's pretty involved honestly but we'll we'll do it 5.4 million a lot of money but i think gonna be worth it so stone to bricks too 
again, kind of a really involved line there. I'm wondering if I could do like a little ring road around, uh, around the town here. I feel like I probably could. Let me, oh, this whole road needs upgraded as well. Hold on a second. Uh, get rid of that pretty sharp turn there. And let's do streets. We are going to want uh, medium country roads, I'm thinking. So something like that. Just upgrade the uh, the entire stretch there so that those vehicles can move at a, at a proper speed. So that should be fine. Uh, that bit up there, eh, we'll not worry about. But that should let them move pretty well. I think what I would like to do, though, is just give this a little shot and see if we can maybe do some kind of little, like, just some kind of little road that will avoid the uh, the main parts of, uh, of town here. So is that going to get used? Yeah, it does. That's exactly what we want. We don't have too many vehicles going in through Retford, which is beautiful. What else are we missing then? So we have, ve so what was this line again? So this was, what are we looking? So we need stone, which I think has its vehicles. And then we have the bricks to here. And looking at that, I'm actually thinking we could probably get rid of that. We could probably have, oh no, we can't because the stone vehicles can only carry stone. They can't carry bricks. That's fine. Uh, let me look at this instead. So we're looking cargo, uh, stone to bricks, 20 vehicles, and then bricks to train three vehicles, and then it is bricks to, uh, it was cargo train, wasn't it? CT was bricks to Budley. Now we need a cargo train. That's the tricky part. We need a cargo train, and uh, I guess we're going to get it from here. So bricks to Budley. We'll buy ourselves a nice cargo train. We'll go for locomotives. Russian class L can do 80 kilometers. Uh, wagons, cargo, cargo, cargo. So this, what can do bricks? This can do bricks. Flat car with side stakes can do 80 kilometers per hour. Have we got anything here can do 100? Because if we're limiting, if we're, yeah. So this is, this is a problem. This is going to limit our trains quite considerably, but that's that's the way it is, I guess. It does mean we can go for a cheaper train, though. So we could do a China Railways JF1, which uh, is actually more expensive than the class, the class Yi, which is more expensive than this, this thing as well, which is more expensive than that thing. Um, okay, let's do a Russian class S then, and then... Cargo is, is going to have to be this thing. I'm slightly annoyed, honestly, uh, or rather that one. Uh, I am slightly annoyed that we're going to have to slow my trains down, but hopefully this will work out. Let's just add a few of these. Let's go for a capacity of 108. Oof, 8.3 million per vehicle. Let's do a capacity of 60. No, let's not. Let's do a capacity of 120 because I can. That should be fine. 115 meters long, 80 kilometers per hour is as fast as that thing's going to go. Let's make it bright orange because it's holding bricks. And that is bricks to Budley. Let's see if this works. I mean, we got that train way too early thinking about it because uh, we ain't going to be making bricks anytime soon. But sure, that's fine. We'll just sort of get the whole line set up. And for Budley, we're moving bricks out elsewhere as well. So let's grab ourselves just two vehicles here. We'll go for one flatbed. We're going to put it on the bricks to Fawi. And then one fat, uh, fat bed, flatbed on uh, Soil Hill. So there we go. They can head out and do their thing. That entire line is now working, though. That entire line is now working. So we should see the production down here increase significantly, I think if the shipping goes up, which I really hope it does. It's actually gone down. That's good. That's what I want to see. Uh, <laughs> that's worrying. A little bit worrying. Still going down. That's that's really not good. Oh, boy. Um, I have a, a sinking feeling about this, is what I'll say. 
I'm really hoping we can do some good stuff here. Consumers... Ship transport minus 100, shipping 66. All right. I mean, maybe we'll be okay. We'll figure that out. Really hoping we'll we'll be okay here. I just I just want this to work. That's that's my thing. I just really want this to work. Is that my cargo train? That is my It's it's very orange, isn't it? It is very very orange. Good lord. All right, that thing is 100% going to be slowing us down uh, quite a bit, honestly, but hopefully it doesn't get in the way too much. And to be fair, it's slowing the molten line down. It's not slowing everything down. So, you know, it's just slowing down. Wow, 239 people wanting there. That's ridiculous. How much money are we making from that Budley line? Where is it? There it is. Not a lot, actually. We're losing... We're going to be losing a lot in that bricks line for a while. Uh, Stone to bricks too. Losing a lot of money there. Penzance loop. Losing a lot of money. Food to Winchester. Losing a lot of money. Uh, I think we'll manage. I think we're making more than we're losing, so that's nice. But I think that Penzance line honestly needs another train. Which is kind of crazy to think about. What is the... What's the frequency in the Penzance line? Oh, finally got a new bus! Good! We've been needing those, I think. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second, just to make sure. Uh, Penzance, 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 Penzance. Where is it? It's losing me money. Good. Wow, it's losing me a lot of money all of a sudden. That's ridiculous. Um, let me clone you. Configure vehicle. I think I can afford to clone it. What's it worth? Details. Value, 7.3. Running costs, 1.3 million per year. Um, sure, clone it. I don't know if I have enough money to do this. I just about did. Nice. Okay. Where, <laughs> where is train eight? Train eight is down here. Oh, it's in exactly the right space, I think. So train eight should just like slink across there and be totally fine. We have spent so much money this year. We have spent so much money this year. But we're making plenty. And I'm also hoping that by adding that in there, have we managed to... Where is it? Frequency is seven minutes. That's not bad. With a capacity of 228 passengers at any one time, that's not bad. I think the, I think it would have made more sense to maybe add more uh, cars to these trains because we're actually... I mean, we have a lot of space in uh, in this in all of our stations, so... That might have been the smarter move, to uh, to tell you the truth. That really might have been the smarter move. Uh, shipping is increasing on this again, which is lovely. And it's going by done. Never mind. Whatever. I'm going to tell these guys, I think. Configure vehicle. Stone uh, bricks. Where is it? Stone bricks to that one. I want you guys to wait. That is not the one I wanted. Stone to stone to bricks to that one. I want you guys to wait until you're full before you leave. Not sure how good of an idea that's necessarily going to be, but that's what I want you to do. Also, I'm not sure why you guys are full back here. That's interesting. How are we looking for bricks over here? Decent little amount. This thing's doing okay as well. So that's good. We seem to be doing all right. Monetarily, we're doing all right as well in terms of like, oh, never mind. We just lost a lot of money there. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing in the slightest. How does this look going across there? So that train does stop. Good, so it does stop. Would have been a bit awkward if it didn't. Would have been, would have been, well, would have been a disaster if it didn't. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are probably all right to call it there for today. We're definitely going to be hoping to start moving, uh, number one, more people. Because there's so many people waiting in here. And we really, you know what? It really might be worth throwing a few more cars onto, uh, onto these trains. I'm debating whether or not it's worth doing that. Or it's worth maybe just going ahead and, uh... 
We could do planes if we wanted to. I'm sure we'd have the money. Uh, whether or not it's do worth doing that or worth waiting until we start getting like multi-car trains and stuff like that. That might not be a bad idea. Also, 130 people wanting to go to, uh, to Badlington. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Good Lord, that's a lot of people. What is the, what's the frequency on that line? 129 seconds. Well, we just got new buses, didn't we? So, what's the capacity? 12? I mean, that's two more, isn't it? So, I guess we might as well. And uh, make them... That's a new ship. Okay. It's a couple of new ships. And a boxcar. A new passenger. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if they can move faster. We're going to have to figure that out in a second. Uh, duplicate all of those. So there's no 10 vehicles in that line. Make them yellow, because they should be. And that should change the frequency of that line to 64 seconds. Perfect. All right. Before we wrap things up, I know I said we were going to, but before we wrap things up, um, I want to find my... Where is it? This guy. No, not that guy. This guy. You. I need you to go back to a, to a, a depot is what I need you to do. So Santa Depot, let's follow you. So that's you there. Not sure what depot you're going to go to. I'm assuming... Yeah, I know exactly what one you're going to. All right. So it's going to be heading down here. There, so that's it. Can I... Can I edit the train? Is, is that a thing I can do? Details... Uh, I actually don't know. Configure vehicle. No. I guess we could sell it. I guess we could sell it. Yeah, we'll sell it. There we go. So it's gone. Uh, let's then have a look in here because I'm gonna take I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance. 120 kilometers per hour. There we go. That ain't gonna slow us down. Locomotives. I want something that can do some speed. The class S honestly might be the. I mean, we had one. Uh, so yeah. Let's get the class S. Let's go to cargo. And uh, this thing can do 120. That's much better. That is much, much better. So uh, 1.3 million for each of these. Interestingly. 9 point, so it's more expensive is, is what it is. Uh, considerably, uh, well, slightly more expensive, I guess. That's fine. Let's put it back in the bricks to Budley line. That's fine. That's that's honestly fine. It's not going to slow us down. That's that's the important thing. So there we go. That's actually going to be our fastest train, which is also kind of crazy to think about. Oh, we actually have bricks down here. Okay. Where are the trucks that are supposed to move the bricks? That's my next question. I genuinely have no idea. Are you supposed to be doing it? Stone to bricks two. Hey, bricks to train one. Let's go. So, does that mean I, I need to? I know we. I, I said we were going to wrap things up. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at ending videos in a timely manner, so that they're not, you know, an hour long and daily. You know, I don't know. If, I don't think daily hour long videos is necessarily recommended. Uh, for, for YouTubers, especially not gaming YouTubers. But you drop that off. That, 52,000 as well. Oh my God. All right. So that gets loaded. That gets loaded into the, into the, into there. Oh my God. Okay. Then you've got bricks as well. Oh my God. Oh, that's really cool. We've got uh, 79 people waiting. We've got some bricks hanging about too. That's very cool. Oh, that's very cool. We got 52,000 for those bricks. That is that is awesome. Okay. I'm really pleased with that. And you actually, you filled up again. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not sure where the cargo train is, but we're going to start seeing cargo moving via the rail, which is awesome. Ah, that's my cargo train. Hold on a minute. Do we have passenger cars that can go go faster? We do. Oh, suddenly I want to upgrade everything. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? That changes things just a little bit. Uh. 
Can they hold more people too? So we've been using this one. 21. So they can go faster and they can hold more people. Well, I know what we're doing in the uh, the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for today. Before I get way, way carried away and make this like a 90 minute episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> that is going to do us for today. It's been my absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye-bye.